This is the best brain song that ever existed. This is the best brain song that ever existed. If you don't believe me, well, you should believe me. Cause this is the best brain song, so listen to it now. The brain is my favorite part of the body. It helps you think and read and look at printers. Thinking and feeling and decision making are important. Because otherwise you cannot know how to swim and then you could drown. The frontal lobe is also good because you can think about things. Like what I could have done to stop my family from drowning. Also things like long term planning and decision making stuff. Making bad decisions isn't good for me. The parietal lobe is also a good lobe to have because it helps with spatial sense and navigation. The next time it you get lost, remember you have this lobe. Also, it has a sensory cortex so you can feel things like Persian cats. The occipital lobe is the visual, visual processing center of the mammalian brain. This is why it's really good to be a mammal. If you're not a mammal, then you should go and die. I guess my family wasn't very good at being mammals. The temporal lobe is great because it lets you speak in French. If you don't speak in French, then you should because France is good. Especially because they have less water to drown in. Also, it helps you listen to things like people dying. This is the best brain song that ever existed. This is the best brain song that ever existed. Other brain songs are almost as good as this song. But this is still the best brain song, so keep listening to it now. The brain stem is useful for keeping yourself alive because it controls things like breathing and heartbeats. It has other cool looks like the medulla and the pons. I guess my family didn't have very good brain stems. The cerebellum is kind of cool because it helps a lot with balance. Without balance, you could fall onto a bag of pineapples. It also helps the motor cortex with voluntary movement and coordination. Voluntary movement is a lot better than involuntary movement. Rakas and Wernix areas are both located in the left frontal lobe. If you want to know the difference, this is what they do. Rakas area is what makes you move so that you can talk. Wernix area helps you understand what people are saying. The thalamus is in the middle, at the top of the brainstem. It directs sensory information to different parts of the brain. The hypothalamus does stuff like controlling body temperature and the endocrine system. It also regulates stuff like being hungry for tomato paste. The hippocampus helps you learn and remember stuff. Which explains why hippos remember things like me. I don't really like hippos that much after what happened, but at least the hippo remembers it because it has a hippocampus. This is the best brain song that ever existed. This is the best brain song that ever existed. I don't even know why hippos don't like being ridden, but this is still the best brain song so keep listening to it now. The reticular formation is a network of slimy nerves. If you looked at a brainstem, you would see one there. It controls alertness and attention, which is important if you're ever being charged by a hippo. The amygdala is one of the most important parts of the brain because it controls emotions like fear and rage. These are really important emotions because they're felt by hippos and water. I used to have these emotions back when I had both feet and parents. The last part of the brain I know about is the corpus callosum. It connects the two halves of the brain and lets them talk to each other. Communication is a very important thing because you still need to get an ambulance. But even with that ambulance, my parents probably still would have died. This was the best brain song that ever existed. This was the best brain song that ever existed. If this song makes some money, then I will use it on a funeral. 
But this is still the best brain song, so stop listening to it now.